Hi, it's JJ, your Abundant Artist Mentor here with this week's energy report from November 5th through the 11th. And I'm super excited because the energy this week is a creative's dream energy. The energy is all about the empowerment of your creative expression. And that means it's the time is ripe for you to really dive in and let that creative flow happen. Let the creativity move through you and express itself fully. So it's just such an exciting energy. Um, like I said, perfect for creating. Now, there are a couple things that could get in the way of you using the energy to its fullest. And the first is those external shoulds those external responsibilities, the things you think you should be doing for your family, for your community, for your household. Those are what I'm referring to as the external shoulds. And I know we've talked a lot about uh, balancing those responsibilities with your creative work in the past few weeks, but the energy this week is not about balance at all. It's about selfishly diving into your creative expression and as much as possible, clearing the way, clearing those other things off your schedule so that you can be fully you in the creative sense this week. Without the guilt, let the guilt go. Don't feel selfish. This week, this energy is for you. It's like a gift. So go ahead and use it as much as possible. I know you might not be able to clear everything off your schedule, but really be mindful about what you can clear off this week. So that's the external shoulds. Then there are the internal shoulds of, oh, I should be doing my creative work this way. I should be doing my business this way or else it won't be successful. The experts say that I need to be doing things a certain way or else I can't prosper, right? So it's about really examining where you have taken on other people's expectations, other people's rules, other people's guidelines. And it's about setting all of those internal shoulds aside as well and letting that pure, raw, creative force come through you and express itself fully and most authentically as you. Because here is what else is wrapped up in this creative energy. It is about knowing and trusting that your contribution to this world isn't based on all those things you're doing for other people. And it isn't about all those ways you think you should be doing things. It is about your unique, authentic, creative expression. It is you who came to this world. It is you who contribute to the world by being fully you. Fully, creatively you. There's a Martha Graham quote, I wish I had it memorized, uh, but she talks about there only being one of you in this world that is ever born in all of the universe, in all of time. There's only one of you. So don't block your life force. Don't block your expression. Allow it to come through you fully. So beware of those shoulds this week. And the other thing I want to cautious about, caution about is as the week draws to a close around Thursday, you might start to have some doubt. So hopefully you've immersed yourself fully into your own unique creative expression as much as you can. But then you might to go, go, okay, but no one's gonna buy this. Um, people are gonna think this is weird. Uh, you might to have, have those doubts because with the energy at the end of the week comes this fear of rejection. And for creatives, it's extra rough because there's this thing I call the creative paradox where we have this urge, this desire to share ourselves with the world, to express ourselves fully and uniquely and authentically. And yet this heightened fear of rejection that if we do that, if we really reveal who we are creatively from our core, that we'll be rejected. And so then it's not only a rejection of our work, but it's a rejection of ourselves. So that's the creative paradox. It's going to show its head, especially if you have really allowed yourself to dive into your authentic creativity this week. And just know that that's normal. Don't let the fear stop you. It's just part of the package. It's not, it's not there to put up a roadblock. It's just the energy that's there. 
So I would love to hear how you are using the creative energy this week. For my theater group, I'm part of a director team for youth theater, and I'm super excited this energy is coming up because our opening night is November 12th. And so I'm so excited to see how this energy bubbles up on the production team, the costuming, and also our kid actors. I can't wait to see how this self-expression shows up fully in our theater. So again, I want to hear from you. How are you taking advantage of the energy this week? Until next time, I'm JJ, your Abundant Artist Mentor. Stay inspired.